Hi, reflexology as we know it today is entirely the work in the sense of originated from one person. So it's entirely the inspired, invented, created work of one person. That one person is Eunice Ingham. Eunice Ingham has passed on, but it is entirely her work. Eunice Ingham was a massage therapist practicing in the first part of the 20th century. She was licensed in New York in the United States. And she was working in the office of a medical doctor who was, his name was uh, Sheldon Riley. Eunice and Sheldon Riley were both students of a medical doctor whose name was William Fitzgerald. William Fitzgerald had, had, through his own efforts, studied, he was a medical doctor of some renown. He was uh, an ear, nose, and throat specialist who ran an ear, nose, and throat speci uh, specialty clinic in Hartford, Connecticut in the last part of the 19th century and the first part of the 20th century. William Fitzgerald was very interested in the nervous system and mapped the functional knowledge of the nervous system to, to that time. Anatomy of the nervous system was well known at that time. But the study of the functional aspects of the nervous system is not exactly, it's not separate from, but it is different from the study of the um, physical nerves and where they're located. So there was uh, a very, from our now our modern point of view, uh, I would say, there was a crudish kind of study of the functional aspects of the nervous system, which went on really for hundreds of years. And by the, by the end of the 19th century, a lot of that research in the nervous system had been uh, literally poke somebody and see what happens. They, so they would take a probe, a metal probe, and poke somebody here or there and see what happened. What William Fitzgerald discovered was that there were functional relationships between different areas of the body. So, if, and he used the whole body. So, uh, he had a system of relationships that he developed, a functional system, which was uh, by picking out different areas on the body. If you press here, it'll have an effect there. If you press here, it'll have an effect there. And I'm not going to go into the details of that. But Eunice Ingham had studied that, and Sheldon Riley had studied that. And uh, that system was called reflex zone therapy. Reflex zone therapy. Eunice Ingham originally, now what she did as a massage therapist was refine that in her, into her own system, which she called or was called reflex zone therapy of the feet. Now, subsequently, the community in this country, people who are wanting to legitimize reflexology, have settled on using the word reflexology. Eunice Ingham didn't do that. She called it reflex zone therapy of the feet, compression massage of the feet, reflexology. She had several names. It was her work, it was new work, and it was unrefined uh, at that time. Subsequently, there have been some excellent practitioners and excellent uh, authors and excellent theorists who have refined and expanded the work in reflexology. And you can find uh, books, uh, individuals, websites that will claim that reflexology was originally invented or developed in, um, let's see, ancient Egypt. There are, in fact, hieroglyphics that suggest that they were using a system very much like reflexology in some of the healing temples there. Uh, ancient India, ancient China, you name it, uh, any ancient culture, there is no lineage, meaning no documentable connection between Eunice Ingham's work and any ancient culture. So when I say, oh, reflexology didn't happen in those places, no. I would say modern reflexology is the work of Eunice Ingham and reflexology as a whole. Yes, uh, a theory, theories, and we don't know the details of those theories, 
there is very much like what we call reflexology now, or, or what I call modern reflexology, did exist in those places. In fact, my point of view, or what I would suggest, is uh, any advanced culture, meaning any culture in which basic problems like having enough to eat and basic sanitation have been solved, will develop a system very much like reflexology, regardless of if there is any lineage or any information coming from any prior culture. And there's reasonable indication of that. Christine Eisel, that's uh, I, I think her name is I-S-S-E-L. Christine Eisel wrote a, a, a small book, but pretty exhaustive and very interesting considering how the dry in the material is. A book in which I think it's called uh, Reflexology, Art, Science, and History. What I took from that book and from Christine's work is this. Pretty much everywhere pe where people reached some degree of what we would call civilization. Uh, enough political organization, enough to eat, uh, and enough sanitation, enough health for uh, there to be some time left over from the, you know, the backbreaking back efforts just to survive, then those cultures, something like reflexology would develop and did develop. It's an obvious system and uh, once people have enough time to think about something, that is one of the things that in most cultures somebody will think of it and start to develop it. If you have any questions or interest in this work, if you want me to, would like me to discuss some other topic in reflexology, or clarify anything that I've discussed here. Uh, you can email me at this website, which is sedona-reflexology.com. So you can, uh, my email address is Thomas, I'm Thomas, and uh, the email address is thomas at sedona-reflexology.com.